These are some Dinar Guru updates, starting off with Mark Z via PDK. In Baghdad today, the report is the Supreme Court of Iraq has rejected today the lawsuit to dissolve the Iraqi parliament. Now, before you panic, I believe this is a good thing. It forces continuity in the Iraqi government. Frank 26, Iraq boots on the ground TV report, Firefly. We see a big explanation from the federal court on TV today, and it looks like they're not going to dissolve parliament. Samson article, quote, Iranian Central offering the Iraqi dinar to local banks. The governor, Ali Saleh Abadi, said in a statement on the sidelines of the cabinet session today that a quantity of the Iraqi dinar entered the country yesterday and will be distributed starting Thursday. All uh, right, and Bruce says, you know, there's a diamond crust about six feet down in Iraq in the sand. There's a whole six-inch crust of diamonds that they found when they're going deeper for oil. Now, it's just amazing that the wealth that is in that region. Pimpy says the Supreme Court over there is saying they do not have the authority to dissolve Parliament. I really do believe there's a bad situation to come of all this. The Supreme Court will not dissolve Parliament. They won't allow the President to dissolve Parliament. Therefore, the only people who could dissolve the Parliament are the people working in the Parliament. Go figure. This is why things are so messed up over there. All right, Nader from the Mideast. A fallout from Nader's friend. Government officials arrest videos. I'm going to tell you what's happening to me. I cannot go home. I've been threatened and I have proof. I've been threatened with death, with death, yes. People said, come back to the country and they will kill me. The government doesn't want things to get out. They don't want to show all this aggressive arrests. All right, Mark Z via PDK was a quiet night on the RV front. Still being told by my folks on the streets that it's not nearly the upheaval media is claiming and they are moving quickly with cleanup. We don't know the exact timing. Breitling says this investment hasn't gone negative, hasn't gone south. Your feelings aren't a reality. The reality is Iraq is moving forward and they're going to add value to their currency. What moment, what day, we can only speculate. But don't go down that rabbit hole of it's never going to happen, it's garbage, it's bullcrap. I don't see any articles anywhere from the CBI. Those are the ones who manage the Iraq currency. They are not going to add value to their currency. I have not seen one single article, one word come out of the CBI saying that. They're always talking about how they're going to add value to their currency. Walking stick via Frank 26, Iran knows and has known for a very long time that the Iraqi dinar is about to go up in value. Therefore, Iran's attitude is slowly changing and that is better to work with Kazemi and the CBI and Satter with value than to continue stealing illegally with no value. Militiaman article, quote, Kurdistan retirement releases salaries online next week, unquote. Militiaman says they are waiting on an agreement with the banks for a specific mechanism to distribute salaries on the 12th of this month. Interesting way of putting it, specific mechanism. They will have it all sorted electronically and on the new system. Frank 26, Firefly, uh, Iran is offering and using Iraqi dinars and Iranian banks as of today. Frank uh, says so that's why Kazemi and leaders of Iraq went over to see the leaders of Iran and tell them you're not in control of my country anymore. If you want to be a part of my country, you're welcome to. Mustafa, CBI governor, will be here and he'll tell you what you have to do. You can't steal any longer from our banks or our auctions. All right, Pimpy, this is good news. Article officially, Iran is offering the Iraqi dinar and its local banks. The more people to use the dinar, the more there is a demand for it. This is good. Think supply and demand. If you don't get the supply to cover it, then that means the currency goes up in value. So far, Iraq has done dang near everything it needed to do to increase the exchange rate of the Iraqi dinar with the exception of having a stable government and a stable economy and avoiding uprisings. Mark Z via PDK, the big news today, of course, is the death of the Queen. So many people are telling me this is our trigger event. Hopefully by tomorrow we will have some clarity. And lastly, Mountain Goat on Wednesday, the Federal 
Supreme Court rejected. At its session, the lawsuit submitted by the Sadrus movement regarding the dissolution of the House of Representatives. It is good news. Basically, it is saying they threw the burden to the courts to decide. It will have to be the second constitutional means to dissolve it, which is for al Kazimi and the President Saleh to do what they what have they not done what have they not yet done it or i'm sorry why have they not yet done it i believe they were waiting for the court to render it decision first so they will now act we will wait and see